Hey best friends, welcome or welcome back. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys just some updates that I did do to my bedroom or what I'm getting ready to do to my bedroom. I finally decided on the paint color, so I'm getting ready to go to Lowe's and pick up that color. I'll show you guys in a bit. I'm also going to run over to Target or Home Depot or something like that because I want to find a different curtain rod for my bedroom. So I did order a rug. I'm not sure if I want to put it underneath my bed yet, but I did order it. Hopefully it comes soon because I wanted to share with you guys that but if not I'll just share it in the next video so that's what I have planned for you guys today if you are interested please keep on watching but before we get this video started I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite fragrances from the company Dossier so yeah I am absolutely obsessed with always smelling my best and I've been obsessed with these Dossier fragrances so if you're not familiar with Dossier, they are a fragrance company that reproduces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price. What's also pretty cool is that if you order a perfume and you're not in love, you can simply just send it back with no questions asked for a full refund. I also love that all of their fragrances are affordable and they range from $29 to $50. I will have a link as well as a discount code for anyone who is interested. My scent for today is Floral Honeysuckle, which is inspired by Gucci's Bloom. Floral Honeysuckle blossoms with a dreamy mix of tuberose and jasmine. This scent speaks feminine, natural, and I love that it's just so long lasting. Dossier also has all of its notes from the perfume printed on the bottle so you'll know exactly what's mixed in. Now I'm out running my errands. I went to my local home since to find my curtain rod and luckily I did find one there. I love browsing through these stores just to see what they have new in here and I always have to make my way over to the candle section. Tempo, tempo. Can you keep up with my tempo? Tempo. Yeah, yeah. Blowing up. See, phone. I just hit the mic jack sign on my tiptoes. Oh yeah, no. Alright, so these are the three colors that I was going for. I already showed you guys this color, which was the aesthetic white. I didn't really like the way it dried. It was giving me like gray, taupish kind of colors. And with my bed being already gray, I didn't want to go for like 50 shades of gray. So I didn't go with that. This was kind of giving me like peachy like coral vibes and I didn't want that so I decided to go for this it's like a Dover well it's called Dover white um it's not too white as you can tell like this is a spackle so between this and that you can tell that it's not like super super white so I decided to go with this color hopefully my husband starts like priming and like starting to paint this wall here I definitely want to do the whole bedroom but Hopefully, I can at least get like this back wall painted. I'm not really pressed about everything else, even though I do want to get the rest of the room painted. But right now, my main focus is this back wall here since I like killed it with taking off the wallpaper. So, I did order a rug. Hopefully, it is here soon. Um, I'm not too sure about it, but I really did love the rug. And since I don't really plan on doing too much in this bedroom, I felt like the rug would definitely give it like that fuller more warmer look to it so that's what i'm hoping that the rug will do once it does come in hey y'all so it's the next day and i wanted to check in and just kind of give you guys an update on the wall so my husband did paint it as you can tell up there he's not completely finished we need to go get more paint i only purchased one gallon of paint because i only thought that he was going to go into the back wall which was okay with me but he did start on like the whole room so i have to go back and get some more paint which to me is not a problem because i would like to have the whole room painted 
so there is a few um little patches that we do need to fix and that's okay i'm not i'm not really worried about that hopefully with my husband's schedule hopefully he can get it done really 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 soon um i also wanted to show you guys the curtain rod that i picked up from home since i did tell you guys that i was going to go to like lowe's or home depot or somewhere and try to find a curtain rod so i did find one right here i picked it up from home since it's kind of like an industrial curtain rod i feel like the black would definitely look good up on the wall since the walls are pretty white now they aren't white white as it may be shown on the camera sorry the sun is shining super bright it's not super 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 white um but obviously it is white so i definitely want to incorporate a little bit more warmer tones and feel like with the black accents that i already have with the mirror and then my lamp i don't know if i ever showed you guys this lamp but i am so obsessed with this lamp i purchased it from pottery barn and it is a baby like it is a keeper it is everything that i wanted i'm obsessed i'm upset that i had to put it on my husband's side but for some reason it just looked better right here so you know with the plant and everything so i'm gonna just go ahead and let him have it but i love this thing i love it so yeah so that's the curtain rod and i also um told you guys that i ordered a rug so my rug came in just in time for this video and i will be unboxing it in this video right now guys let me know what you think i hope that it does go well in this room um if not i'll just have to send it back but i'm just crossing my fingers and hoping that it does look right all right so i wanted to flip over the camera because i also um wanted to give you guys some more plans on what i want to do in this bedroom so I kind of feel like every bedroom and every like room needs some type of art. So I was thinking about putting like um I don't know, like a piece of art right above my nightstand. I wasn't thinking about putting it over on that side. I'm not sure. But I feel like I just wanna, you know, add a piece of art in here. Let me know what you guys think. Should I add like some art? over this um over my nightstand this is my side of the bed so i'll be adding it on my side of the bed in the nightstand and i'll probably just keep this side um the same i kind of feel like i want to switch out this plant i'm not sure yet but that's just you know that's the future i'm not really worried about that either and also if you guys saw my last vlog you saw that i did purchase this mirror this baby is everything and more do you hear me like i'm obsessed with this mirror I, I feel like everybody needs a full length mirror in their home put it in your living room your bedroom whatever get a full length mirror okay so let me show you guys the rug here it is in the plastic i'm getting ready to open it we got this bad boy packed and sealed so i'm not gonna open the rug all the way up because we still have more painting to do and that would just be crazy so i'm just gonna kind of open it up just a little bit so i can see majority of the rug and this is the rug oh i love it i love it i love it i love it I think it's going to look really nice underneath my bed. All right, y'all. So I'm going to have to open this thing all the way up now because I got to see. <laughs> I got to see what it's looking like all the way right now. Um, all right. So this is the rug. I opened it up a little bit more and I freaking love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, let me take this. I gotta take this throw off now because I feel like it's just clashing too much for me. So, all right, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, I feel like it's just giving it so much more warmth already. So my design style for this room is like, um, I don't even know if this is a thing, 
but <laughs> my design style is like a earthy glam i hope that's a thing i don't know if it is it's gonna be a thing right now so i wanted to incorporate more pieces of natural elements that's why i do have like this um wooden bowl and i have like my crystals inside of it i have the lamp over there which is a really nice texture and then on my side i do have like another small plant inside of a wooden planter as well so those are the things that i wanted to incorporate and i thought that it really went well with this rug because the rug does have like some hints of brown to it as well and i thought with the gray and brown which are two of my favorite colors i thought that it went together so well so the, that's really like my color scheme and of course like the whites and creams i did want to keep my bed my bedding that color and for of course the glam i wasn't getting rid of my um dresses and nightstands and i wasn't getting rid of my chandelier and plus i couldn't really find anything that was going to match perfectly with my bed and i'm still obsessed with my bed so we wasn't changing that out so i definitely feel like the mirrored look is out of style right now but just like with everything else it will come back in style so i'm definitely not getting rid of these these were pretty pricey and they're pretty amazing so yeah i'm still loving them these babies will be around for a while in or out of style i'm not over my curtains just yet i really think that it will fall in place with all the other decor that i do have in here especially since especially once we um change out the rods i think that it really will kind of pop with that uh black curtain rod up there and right here i kind of wanted to put like a small chair or a bench right here the bedroom is not that big which is why i don't really plan on like overcrowding that's why i think with the rug once the rug is put underneath the bed it'll kind of give it that warm and fuller look but i always wanted like a small chair um right here let me know what you guys think should i put like a little small chair and maybe like two pictures like on top of each other on this wall here i'm not sure yet still trying to figure it out but just to kind of give you guys an idea on what i'm planning on doing to the room so far all right best friends so that's it for today thank you so much for tuning in and like i said i will be keeping you updated on all the updates that i do make on my bedroom thank you so much for coming along with me on my bedroom makeover journey so i will see you all in the next video take care bye bye so sweet but you're dynamite i just want to dance with you feeling that burn i'm not getting out yeah yeah baby you make me lose my